whether you are an employer or employee, you must be maintaining attendance sheet. And to maintain attendance sheet, Excel is the best tool. Nowadays, biometric system is getting followed in most of the places. But to maintain the records, attendance sheet in Excel is must. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any delays. In case you are a beginner and trying to create your own attendance sheet, this video is going to be very helpful for you. Before creating the new format, let's see how it works. On the top, we have got month and year. And just after that, we have got our dates and days. For 12 months, we have got 12 sheets. And in the end, we have got annual sheet. Means annual summary sheet. I'll come to the month of January. I'll do some entry over here. P for present. As soon as I typed P, it got automatically highlighted in green. Now I'll type A for absent and A got automatically highlighted in red. I'll type L means leave and leave got highlighted in blue. When I come to right hand side, we can see one present, one absent and one leave. For holidays, we are going to use H. I'll do the entry of H over here. Enter. And our holidays got highlighted in yellow. And on the extreme right hand side, we can see one holiday. When I come to annual sheet, we can see one present, one absent, one leave and one holiday. So whenever the entries will be done in the months, it will be automatically updated in annual sheet. Let's start creating a new format now. I have opened a new workbook. We'll come to the sheet's name. This will be January, J-A-N. We'll take column A closer. We'll click on B2. And we'll select C also. We'll merge this together. This will be Jan. Enter. We'll click in front of Jan. This will be year 2025. Enter. We'll select the whole row and we'll align all the things in center. Now I'll click just under Jan. This will be serial number. Employee ID. Employee name. We'll click just under serial number. 1. Enter, 2, Enter, we'll select 1 and 2 and we'll drag it down. We'll create till 15. Now I'll click on Jan, we'll select year also and we'll select till 15. We'll insert borders. We'll put some color over here. Over here also I'll change the color. We'll change color of headings also. We'll change the font color. Now I'll click just in front of employee name and we'll insert the formula for date and the formula will be plus or equal to date value bracket open double inverted comma one double inverted comma close and we'll click on month and we'll click on year. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We got some random figure. Now I'll click on random figure. We'll press Shift Control 3 and I got the date format. We'll click just in front of first date and we'll insert the formula for second date and the formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open we'll click on first date is smaller than EO month means end of the month bracket open we'll click on first date once again our first date is not visible so I'll click over here we'll press down arrow key and I reach to first date. We'll press F4 or function F4 and my cell will be locked. Comma, zero. Bracket close. Comma, we'll click on first date once again. Plus one. Comma, double inverted comma twice for blank. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Over here also I got random figure. I'll click on the figure. We'll press shift control three. And we got our date format. We'll select both the dates. We'll press Ctrl 1. A new window will open of format cells. We'll go to custom. We'll remove this and we'll put DD or we'll type DD and we'll do OK. So we got 0102. Now we will insert the formula for days and the formula will be plus or equal to text. Bracket open. We'll click on our very first date, comma, double inverted comma. D, D, D means D three times. Double inverted comma close, bracket close and we will hit enter. Now we will drag this to second date. We'll select both the cells. 
and we'll adjust the column size. We'll click on first day and we'll select second day also and we'll select till bottom. We'll insert borders. We'll put some color over here. We'll change the font color. We'll put color over here also and we'll change the font color. We'll leave our days selected. We'll go to home. We'll come in the center. Over here we get the option of orientation. We'll click on the drop down and we'll select rotate text up and the orientation of our text got changed. We'll select both the columns and we'll adjust the column size. For present, we are going to use P. For absent, we are going to use A. For leaves, we are going to use L. And for holidays, we are going to use H. I will select the whole sheet. We'll go to home. We'll come in the center. In the center, we get the option of conditional formatting. I'll click on conditional formatting, highlight cell rule, equal to only format cells that contain. And over here, I'll type P. We'll click on drop down, customize format, fill. And from here, I'll select green color for present. Font, font color will be white. And we'll do OK. OK. So P got highlighted in green. If I'll type P in my attendance sheet, it will be automatically highlighted in green. I'll delete this. We'll select the whole sheet once again. We'll go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rule, equal to, and I'll type A over here. For A means absent, I'll select red color, and my font color will be white. And we'll do OK. OK. We'll go to conditional formatting once again, highlight cell rule, equal to and over here I'll type L means leaves. We'll click on drop down, customize format, fill and from here I'll select a desired color and we'll change the font color and we'll do OK. OK. We'll go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rule, equal to and over here I'll type H for holidays. We'll click on drop down, customize format, fill and I'll select a desired color. And we'll do OK. OK. So all my codes got highlighted. Now we can delete this. We'll click on second day and we'll select till bottom. And we'll drag this. We'll adjust the column size. We'll select the whole sheet once again. We'll go to conditional formatting. Highlight cell rule. Equal to. And over here I'll type Saturday. My week offs will be on Saturday and Sunday. Only reason I am highlighting Saturday and Sunday. In case you have got your week offs on Sundays, just highlight Sundays. We'll click on drop down, customize format, fill and from here I'll select yellow color and font color will be black and we'll do OK. OK. So my Saturdays got highlighted. I'll highlight my Sundays also. We'll go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rule equal to and over here I'll type Sunday, S-U-N. We'll click on drop down. We'll go to customize format, fill. From here, I'll select a desired color and we'll change the font color. And we'll do OK. OK. So my Saturdays and Sundays got highlighted. If I'll change the month, we'll do as Feb. My highlights got changed. And if I'll do this April, all my days and highlights got changed. I'll keep this as Jan. Enter. Employee ID. I'll take some random figure, we'll select both and we'll drag it down. Employee name, I'll increase the column size, we'll align year in center. Employee name, name 1, enter, we'll drag it down. Now I'll click on my day and we'll select till bottom and we'll drag it till 31st. We'll delete this, we'll select all my columns. And we'll adjust the column size. We'll go to view and we'll remove the grid lines. Now I'll come to right hand side. This will be present, absent, leaves, holidays. Code for present will be P, absent A, leaves L and holidays it will be H. All the codes are getting automatically highlighted because we have applied conditional formatting on the whole sheet. We'll change color of this also. We'll go to home and we'll change the color. We'll change the font color. We'll change color of all the heads. 
Now we will select from top to bottom and will create borders. Total present formula will be plus or equal to count if bracket open will come to left hand side and will click just in front of first employee. We will select till last date. We will press F4 or function F4 three times, comma. We will click on code of present. We will press F4 or function F4 two times. We will close the bracket and we will hit enter. We got zero as value. We will align this in center. We will drag this till edge and we will drag it down. We will press control one. We will go to custom. We will remove general and we will type has semicolon has semicolon dash and we'll do ok so instead of zero we can see dash now we'll come to left hand side we'll increase size of row number one we'll select till k and we'll merge this together this will be attendance sheet enter we'll click on attendance sheet and we'll change the font color we'll increase the font size let's come to right hand side over here, I'll do some entries P and we got 1. If I'll do entry over here also, P, we got 1. If I'll do this A, I got 1 absent, L, I got 1 leave, H, and I got 1 holiday. Perfect. So all the formulas are working perfectly. I'll delete this. We'll come to left hand side. Format of January is ready. Now I'll click on sheets name. We'll right click the mouse. Move or copy, I'll take this on top, move to end, create a copy, ok and my copy got created. In the same way, I'll create 12 copies for 12 months. So our 12 sheets got created, we'll come to the month of January. Over here, no change is required, we'll go to the next sheet. This will be Feb, third will be March. And in the same way, I'll rename till December. So we renamed all the sheets. Now I'll go to the month of February. On the top, we can see Jan. We'll do this Feb. We'll go to March. And we'll do this March. And in the same way, we will do all the changes till December. So all the changes got done. Now I'll click on month of December. We'll right click the mouse, move or copy, we'll come down and we'll click on move to end, create a copy, ok. So copy of December got created, this will be annual. Now we will delete all the dates, delete, we'll delete remaining dates also, delete, we'll remove all the formulas and we'll insert new formulas over here and the formula will be plus or equal to sum bracket open we'll go to the month of january we'll come to right hand side and we'll click on present of first employee we'll press shift and we'll click on december we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter and our formula got inserted i will drag it down and we'll drag this till holidays and all the sheets got connected with annual we'll go on top we'll delete this this will be annual summary enter now whatever entry we will do in our months suppose that i'll go to august and we'll do the entry over here as present enter one absent and one leave enter one holiday also enter we'll go to my annual sheet and we can see the data in our annual summary so our format is ready now i'll provide link of this file in description box in case you want to download you can I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic. Till then, bye-bye.